all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back-to-back -back update and information as to the heart in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel I'll kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you go be the first we'll collect them well let's go down to the news proper i see the heart he don't shall uh i see the video matter what we say either for the obodo of the indigenous people of biafra uh, before i continue i say shout out to all our subscribers all our fans uh, all of us of freedom all over the world remember uh, that freedom has never been an easy journey i see the being make i carry you to the matter where we say a consign or madike one of ndibo will be mazid nandikano still inside that matter last week caught appearance by nandikano leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob stood out in a very remarkable way it is not that his arrangement that Tuesday did not witness the usual security cordon characteristics of previous ones. Neither did it allow lie in his being granted some of the prayers he had sought from the presiding judge. Nothing of such as all his prayers were refused. But that court outing struck as the first time since his extraordinary rendition from Kenya and subsequent trials, he finds himself addressing the press after the court section. It is not clear the arrangement that allowed him to speak to the media, especially given previous posturing by security agencies of such matter. Whatever the circumstance that permitted that, the, that brief media interface provided Kano the rare opportunity to put on record his views on some of the contentious issues surrounding the fostering insecurity in Southeast region. Before then, we had been treated to third-party information on what Kano was purported to have said or not said. At one point, his lawyers were the only source of information on Kano's view and standing on evolving matters. And at another, his family members allowed access to him dish out some information. And with all issues in this matter, instances arose where such representation led to dispute among his close allies. Kano has now spoken firsthand and has been heard. He may not have prepared himself for the media interface, his choice of words, demeanor, and constant interjections from his lawyers give out all that. Some of his claims may also lend themselves to misinterpretation. Nevertheless, he spoke clearly on why insecurity still fosters in that region. The, possibility, the possible interest behind it and how to bring final closure to the, to the Malfasians. Not only was he unequivocally in distancing the IPOB from the sundry security infractions and criminalities in the region, he vowed to bring an end to them if he regains his freedom. I swear, anybody committing crime in the East cannot go free. They are doing this because I am in the DSS custody. If I were to be outside, nobody could try this. I suspect that some people in the government are complicit. They are making money with insecurity. Anybody involved in any form of violence in the East in the name of IPOB is a gunner and they know the. Let me come out of this mess. Only two minutes, there will be peace in the Southeast, Mazen can vowed. He further asked, who is that bugger or idiot that will speak when I am speaking? That I will give an order in East, who is that idiot that I will give an order that will counter it? This aspect of his speech could be misconstrued, but he spoke within the context of sundry groups claiming to be speaking for the IPOB and issuing directives, especially on the sit-at-home order. It is unfathomable that he could be implying that no other authority can speak when he speaks. Irrespective of the limitations of his choice of words, Kano did not leave 
anyone in doubt about the reason for the unceasing insecurity. Those benefiting from it and how to bring an end to it. And these are the issues to contend. Much of this view struck a common chord with the position of leaders from the southeast on the insecurity in that region. Not only did he distance the IPOB from the criminalities in the east, he said sundry criminal groups were taking advantage of his detention to commit crimes. For him, the solution lies in his being set free. With his freedom, those who issue conflicting orders or engage in sundry criminalities on the guise of agitating for his release, we have no further room to exploit. His claims distancing the IPOB from the criminal activities in the region may not go down well with the federal government that holds the group responsible for all security infractions in the region. Sadly, such fixation came with dubious profiling which views anybody from that region, especially the youth, as potential IPOB recruits. The telling consequences of such sweeping generalization on the lives of the innocent people are a story for another day. But the good thing there is that Cano's view are largely in sync with the position of Southeast leaders and interest group on how to resolve the insecurity in the region. In 2021, a strong Igbo delegation led by late elder statesman Mbazulike Amoechi met former President Muhammadu Buhari and pleaded with him to free Kano as a solution to the lingering insecurity in the area. Buhari's, Buhari's reply was that it was a difficult task. Again, on the eve of his 94th birthday in 2022, Amechi asked Buari to release Kano to him as a birthday gift. There is only one key solution to the killings in Igbo land now, and that is the release of Nam the Kano. If that young man is released, you will see all these criminals claiming to be agitating for the release of Nam the Kano, while their real intention is to rob unsuspecting people. We go into hiding, he had pleaded with Buari. Amechi urged Buari to release Kano to him and hold him responsible, arrest him if he, Kano, misbehaved thereafter. In spite of his passionate plea, Buari turned a deaf ear to him until the old man passed away only for the presidency to show praises in a tribute to the late nationalist and first republic minister of aviation. It did not come as a surprise that some interest group faulted Buari for not acceding to Amechi's request only to turn around to review on platitudes and, and encomiums after his death. They felt if Buari held him in such high esteem, he should have obliged him his 91st day birthday request to set Mazen Nandi Kano free. All of that is now a history. Amechi and his group of Igbo leaders we are not alone in this position. The upper social cultural Igbo group, Ohanes and Dibo, also made several representations to Bari to explore the political option to the crisis by freeing Kano to no avail. Buari had a veritable window provided by the appeal court judgment to free Kano and explore a political solution to the crisis. But he allowed that opportunity to slip until he left office. Curiously, Buari had lined position on insecurity in the region contrasts sharply with his policies in the Northeast where amnesty and so-called the recalization of terrorists had been the official policy. He may have his bias as one of the military officers that fought in the Nigerian Civil War. But as Paul Robinson cautioned, the answer to injustice is not silence. The critique but end the injustice. With the emergence of President Tinubu regime, the fate of Kano vis-a-vis -vis insecurity in the Southeast has resonated. Around August last year, the five governors of the Southeast met in Enubu to brainstorm on how to resolve the insecurity in the zone, even as some of them has exploited the situation to feather their political nest. In a communique after the meeting, the governors, among others, stated categorically that 
that the perpetrators of insecurity in our region and their sponsors are criminals and should not be seen as leg legitimate agitators upon arrest. They should be dealt with in accordance with the laws of the land. Again, after recent release of Yoruba Nation agitator Sondi Igohu by the President of Benin Republic, Patrice Talon, through appeals by Yoruba leaders, the Hones and Dibo also appealed to President Tinubu to withdraw all charges against the IPOB leader. They said the release of Kano will play a pivotal role in restor restoring peace in the Southeast region and help in addressing the prevailing insecurity. There is a common thread running through the position of Southeast governors. Hones and Dibo and Kano on the insecurity in the region and the way out of it. The governors are in agreement with Kanu's view that the perpetrators of insecurity and their sponsors are criminals and should not be seen as legitimate agitators. Ahneze and opinion leaders in the region are also in agreement that freedom for Kano is key to the restoration of peace in the region and addressing and lingering insecurity. These are common denominators in the issue raised by Kano during his brief interview. It is a well good that he was allowed to speak to the public. He made commitment to help restore peace and security and was heard. There are misusing that his public outing through that interview may signal a new attitude to his case and possible release by the federal government. That will be in consonance with the expectation of the people of that region. The country is currently assailed by multidimensional insecurity to which the current government is battling to contain. If the release of Kano will restore peace and address insecurity in the zone as attested by the leadership of the zone, it is in the national interest that option be fully explored. President Tinubu has a chance to make history by heeding to the prevailing feelings that Kano's release is pivotal to peace and insecurity in that region. My people, I don't see as they happen uh, as that matter. They carry go, they carry work, they carry move. Uh, that one has still on still on still the matter where we say a consign the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Nam the Kano Ohamadike, one of Ndibo. I say now here I go the wind and the cotton. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop bomba you will be the first we'll collect them thank you for listening god bless you